Today we're making shrimp with cocktail sauce. It's a little bit of a different riff. We're doing a creamy cocktail sauce that's a little spicy but doesn't rely on horseradish. We have a little ancho chili powder and some chipotle chili powder to kick it up. So the first thing you want to do is bring some water to a boil and then take some of your um, old crab seasoning, tablespoon, pop that in there to cover that. Just let that cook for about five minutes uh, just to let the water become uh, perfumed and the steam and then we will put our shrimp in. Now you'll notice I have a steaming basket here. I'm going to steam the shrimp. I did not put the basket in now. If you put the basket in and it gets hot and then you put the shrimp in, the shrimp sticks to the basket. So put the shrimp into a cold basket and then into the hot pot. You'll have much better luck. Simple sauce. We start with some mayonnaise, a little lime juice, a couple of tablespoons of chopped cilantro, ancho chili powder, and a little bit of chipotle. That's where the heat comes from. The ancho chili provides a little more smokiness. This recipe makes enough for four people. So we'll put a little bit of the sauce in the bottom of an individual bowl or cup. Now I have my shrimp in the steaming basket and I've got the aromatics in. I'm just going to cover that. Bring that back to a boil and cook that so it becomes seasoned with those uh, delicious Old Bay seasonings. <laughs> the shrimp are done. They're nice and pink. They're firm. We have an ice bath here. Just ice and water from the freezer with another small bowl inset. We'll dump those in there. We'll give those a stir periodically just to let them cool. You can always do this the day ahead and let them cool in the ref Just come a little bit to room temperature, put them in the refrigerator and store them overnight. But this kind of a dip really requires a chilled shrimp. Shrimp is cool in our ice bath. And I've got these great little individual serving cups. So I'm going to just put the shrimp around the sides. Everybody have the same size. In my family, people would notice that someone else got something that was bigger. Now we have a delicious shrimp cocktail for four. If you're not in the mood to uh, make your own shrimp, you can always buy prepared cooked shrimp from your fishmonger and just whip up this creamy little spicy sauce and uh, you've got a nice little appetizer for your friends. Hope you enjoy. Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you want more great appetizers, check out this playlist.